Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tara and I make skincare products. Not only are you getting introduced to me today, but you're also getting introduced to my friend Jenna, so I'll let her take it away. Hi, I'm Jenna. I also make skincare products and post about it on YouTube and Patreon, and I do a bit of small business mentoring. Today, Tara has challenged me to do a dupe of the Sol Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Scrub, which I'm going to give a go now, and you can see how I get on on my channel. But first, let's see how Tara did duping the Dove Scrub that I've challenged her to make. Let's talk a little bit about the product before we get formulating. You can skip ahead to any of the timestamps of this video if you want. This is the Dove Pomegranate Exfoliating Body Polish, and I really love the texture of these scrubs. They all have such a unique fluffy texture that I wanted to try to replicate. So of course I had to go to whatsinmyjar.com to check out the ingredients because it has hydrated silica in it as a third ingredient. And I've never worked with hydrated silica and I didn't have it. And the only supplier was in the UK. So I decided on not purchasing it. Another ingredient that confused me was the sodium stearate. The only time I've ever used that is to make a, like a gelled, bar but as you can see they say it has cleansing effects and emulsifying effects so i went ahead and used it at two percent they suggested it uh at like 2.2 percent so i used that two percent i'm not really sure what it's doing in the formula i don't think it's thickening but maybe it's emulsifying and helping lather a bit I don't know. Either way, this is where I got the recommended percentages for each ingredient. And I tried to find as many ingredients as I could, but I'm not using all of them. I also did not have a fragrance that matched it perfectly, but I found something somewhat similar. Kind of had the same vibe. So here's the formula I'm gonna be using. You can screenshot this if you want. And here is mine next to theirs. So let's go ahead and see how I put this entire formula together. I'm gonna be making a 1000 gram batch. And of course, we are starting with phase A. Make sure everything is nice and clean and sanitized. And the first ingredient I'm gonna add in is 50 grams of glycerin. You can use a different humectant like propendiol here if you want. Then I'm gonna add in cocomutyl propyl betaine. You can use a different liquid anionic or amphoteric surfactant. Then this ingredient here, I'm not even gonna to try to say it, sodium laurel something isothionate, I don't know. Then put on a respirator. This is really important. You don't wanna breathe this in. Go ahead and add in your sodium cocal isothionate. So if you don't have the SLI, you can use more sodium cocal isothionate instead. The SLI is the um, ingredient I said I wasn't gonna pronounce. <laughs> Anyways, uh, go ahead and mix all those together and it will turn into a paste with a bunch of chunks of the SLI. So put that to the side and let's work on phase B. You need 570 grams of distilled water and then add in 20 grams of sodium stearate. If you don't have this, I think you can still make it without this ingredient. It's not necessary. I just used it because they said they used it and it's just a shot in the dark trying to replicate their formula here. I'm doing my best. So set that to the side. Now we're gonna combine phase C ingredients. I'm using 30 grams of stearic acid and 20 grams of lauric acid. If you don't have lauric acid, just use stearic acid in place of that. 20 grams of cetyryl alcohol. You can use cetyl alcohol or more stearic acid if you want. Some synthetic wax. Again, you can use stearic acid in place of this if you want. You might have to increase the percentages. And then some caprylic capric triglyceride. You can use any plant oil. And lastly, shea butter, but you can use any plant butter you want. Now you want to create a water bath by filling a pan with a little bit of water, place it on your stovetop on like medium heat, and you just want to heat up phase A and B for now. If you have enough space, you can heat up phase C, but we're going to combine these phases first. So I'm going to cover phase A and B to help insulate it to keep uh, the heat in to help melt it better because phase uh, A is a pain to get to melt altogether because that SLI does not want to melt down. So this is going to take a while, but once we add phase B, it will help, but you need to wait until the powder has dissolved in phase B. And that might take like 10 minutes, maybe 20. And once it happens, go ahead and pour phase B into phase A. And it should look like this, nice and clear. And you shouldn't have a bunch of chunks. And if you still do have chunks, you need to let it heat longer and maybe try to press them down with your spatula. Now we can go ahead and start heating up phase C. 
And again, you can cover that to help melt it better. And once your phase A and B is nice and clear, no chunks, you can add in your phase C when it's all melted. Go ahead and mix all that together and you can remove it from heat. And again, here is what it should look like before you remove it from heat. And of course, my camera is not in focus here. <laughs> All right, now it is time to whip it just a little bit. It's still pretty liquidy. So if yours is too liquidy, don't whip it yet until it like starts to solidify a bit, but it, it'll definitely be pretty liquidy until tomorrow. But I mixed mine up a little bit. It should still be hot. Mine's around 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So place it in the fridge or just let it cool at room temperature until it gets around 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And once it has, you can go ahead and whip it a little bit more. This is when I'm gonna go ahead and add in the mica powder. And I'm using Rose Pearl from brambleberry.com. And you can use whatever mica powder you want. Any water soluble or water dispersible coloring will work. And I'm trying to match the Dove Scrub, but it's really just like this light hint of pink, but I think I pretty much got it. In the end, I do wish I added a little bit more pink and it doesn't really show up much on camera, but I think I should have added a little bit more in the end. But anyways, we can move on the phase D and just make sure everything is around 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Add in your broad spectrum water soluble preservative. I used Liquid Dermal Plus. Add in your fragrance oil. I used Camellia. I don't know if I said that right. Uh, Camellia Sugar from Brambleberry.com. It just smells really florally, kind of like this body scrub. It's nowhere similar, okay? Anyways, I was trying to figure out how to get the red specks because I didn't have pomegranate seeds like they had. So I tried these red jojoba pearls, but they were just too small. So I decided to go with these cranberry seeds. They are bigger than the pomegranate seeds, but I do feel like it's kind of the closest we can get. And I just added a few of those because again, they are kind of a little bit bigger, but I do think it worked and it looks, it looks good. So I think it works. Then I'm doing a blend of 50 grams of white jojoba pearls or jojoba beads, whatever one you want to use, and 50 grams of bamboo stem powder. You don't have to use both of these. You can use just one. I just wanted a blend of texture. Or you can use any other exfoliant that won't dissolve in water. You can't use sugar or salt here. So now you want to cover it and let it sit overnight. And the next day, it should be this nice solid texture like that. This is perfect. I, I was happy and then go ahead and whip it up. You can whip it up really as much as you want. I just kind of whipped it for a bit. I didn't make it too fluffy. And this is the final texture I got. I do feel like it's much softer than the Dove scrub, but I think it will harden up over the next like week or so. By the way, the pH is a little bit under six, so it is a good pH level as well. You don't need to like lower it or anything. And if you want, you can pipe this. Or if you want to make it thicker, which I do recommend doing, use more stearic acid or synthetic wax. Let me know if you guys want to see me make this again, but with like less ingredients, more simplified and thicker. Cause I think, I think I could, that would be fun. I could do that. It does have a nice like viscosity to where it won't pour out of the jar like theirs, but it's still just not as hard and it doesn't lather as much, but overall I still really like it and it was fun to make it. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments. So now it's time to see how Jenna did in making her scrub. How'd it go, Jenna? First of all, it's <laughs> it's a really weird scrub, the Soldier Nero. It's so solid. I, I was just, it was basically a rock when I received it. It softens up when you touch it. That's what the Soldier Nero looks like. And mine, obviously I didn't have the same kind of tub as them. And it's not the prettiest scrub in a clear thing. I think I've pretty much got the texture except I've got a more sort of coarse sugar in it. Um, I think maybe they used a finer sugar, but it's turned out pretty well. So I'm pretty pleased with it and it definitely smells the same. <laughs> so there you go. That's my dupe. Yours turned out perfectly. I think it looks exactly like theirs. And I can't believe you even got the same scent. So I'm excited to see what fragrance oil you use to scent it that smells exact. But I. The texture is really, really hard, but I noticed once I went to like use it, I actually did kind of like it. Yeah, it does sort of melt 
I think it's mostly the coconut oil, so it sort of melts on your finger and it softens. I'm sure in summer it will be really, really nice. I think it's just, well, it's supposed to be like a beach theme, isn't it? So I guess it's supposed to be used in summer where it will be softer, so it makes sense. And it kind of feels like wet sand, that's the kind of texture I'm getting from it. But if you want to see how I made it, then I'm sure Tara will link to my channel and uh, you can go watch that video as well. Also, don't forget to go over and check out my Patreon where I post two exclusive videos every single month. So there are a ton of videos you can go over there and binge watch for only $5 a month. And for $10 a month, you can get a small business shout out or maybe you have a YouTube channel. So let's go ahead and shout everybody out. Nature's Farm Girl, thank you so much. Let's blend. Thank you, hempygirl.com shoplevies.com or shoplevies.com, 7th House and Oak on Etsy, at Black Petal Beauty on Instagram, Owl and Lily on Etsy, zayalamore.com, I hope I said that right, embracebeautyessentials.com, legendarybathandbody.com, at Stardust Bath and Body on Instagram, astariapothecary.com, Revega Cosmetics here on YouTube and naturesmagicllc.com. Go sign up if you want a shout out or if you just want bonus content. The shout out tier might be full. It's full pretty often because I only have so much space in the description box to link to everybody.